the business of the music business with Erica Von Kleist. Welcome to this episode of the business of the music business with yours truly, Erica Von Kleist. This episode is about a tough topic, something we don't talk about nearly enough. Today we're diving into burnout. Okay, let's get real, like really real. Being burnt out is like having this feeling of giving up. You're tired, you're moody, you have no zest for the things you used to have zest for. Maybe you're getting dark at rehearsals or gigs, or you feel like you have no more joy for music. Or you're so tired that you find yourself turning down work because you don't want to subject yourself to the effort. The life of a self-employed musician can be extremely taxing and all-encompassing. And the desire to conquer a musical instrument or goal often supersedes the desire to even get to know yourself. And when your identity is constantly wrapped up in music, it can be really hard to know when to take time off. When I was nine, music became a coping mechanism for a turbulent home life. So much so that I had no idea how to really be any other way. My safe place was as Erica the Musician. I didn't understand myself outside of my instrument, and the concept of balancing my life just didn't exist because the only thing I knew and could relate to was music. In my 20s, I got so burnt out that I got dark. I was dark on rehearsals. I hated the music I was playing. I was constantly looking at the clock to see when the gig was gonna be over. And to be honest, I saw it in several of my colleagues too. Unhappy, unbalanced, overworked, underpaid, and burnt out. So I left New York and moved to Montana. I got a gig out here in the summer of 2012, fell in love with Whitefish, and couldn't stomach the idea of going back to New York to my old life. I'd experienced so much pressure in high school, so much pressure in college, and so much pressure being a self-employed musician in New York that I was completely burnt out and I felt this incredible urge to just leave it all and start new in this beautiful place. I had no teaching job to bring me here, no gigs on the books, I moved here for me. The jazz world is such a small bubble and people here didn't care who I'd shared the stage with nor would they recognize anyone's name. All they cared about was who I was as a person. And when I realized that, I realized that that was gonna be my biggest challenge was to find out who I was. And the coolest part about finding out who I was was realizing that I was funny, that I could write funny songs, I could collaborate with comedians and writers and actors and write movies. And had I stayed in New York, I never would have realized this about myself. Now, you shouldn't have to move to a remote part of the country and completely start your life over in order to heal burnout, which is why I wanna share a few tips with you. Okay, back to business. Let's explore some tangible and important ways you can pace your life and work as a musician while achieving your goals and making time for you. First off, take the pressure off. Maybe you want a Grammy or a mention in the Downbeat Magazine polls. These are great goals to have, but you gotta realize that a lot of that type of success is built on publicity. And there's usually a considerable amount of money and strategy behind publicity. Awards are a great boost, but it's easy to get discouraged when you're constantly reaching for the stars and you never feel like you're getting anywhere close, especially through that kind of validation. As artists, it can feel like we're spinning our wheels. Dreaming big is always a great thing, but be sure to manage your expectations so that you don't feel like a failure. Second, set realistic goals. We only have one life to live. And while you may want to release an album, tour with your band, hold down a teaching job, and do side work at the same time, putting that much on your plate can be debilitating. Pace yourself. Take your time producing your album. Take a vacation day off of teaching, or say no to the lesser paying gig. You don't have to be everything for everyone all the time, including yourself. Next, take a day off every week. And on that day off, get into a non-music related activity or adventure. Go hiking, take a day trip, plan a dinner party or game night with your friends. Get lost in some movies or books. Try to get out of your head. If you're constantly pushing yourself, you're gonna fry your brain, tire your soul, and you might even start to develop issues like back problems or tendonitis. Also, speaking of health issues, take care of yourself, especially when you're young. 
Exercise, drink water, eat well, do yoga or strength training, talk to a therapist. Being a musician is an incredibly physically and mentally taxing job. And I'm sure you wanna be able to do it all for as much of your life as possible. Take advantage of your healthy body, develop a healthy mind and perspective, and get into good habits. Lastly, you can change. At any given moment, if you realize that you're not happy playing the type of music you've played your entire life, or you wanna try a new instrument, or you wanna do something completely different than music, you have every right in the world to do so. And doing so does not make you some kind of a failure. It makes you human. It makes you an adventurer. It makes you honest and brave. Self-discovery is part of what life is all about, and it's the most exciting part of your journey too. And if you don't give yourself permission to be honest with yourself regarding what really makes you happy, you may never reach your full potential, and you may very well burn out. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Bomb with yours truly, Erica Von Kleist. Take care of yourself, don't forget to breathe, and I'll see you next time.